my first Saturday at Fright Fest is now underway. How did I start? Well, if you know me for a while, then you know that I always do scream and eagle when the park first opens. And uh, exactly what I did. Two Zen rides on it. Front row red train. Running quite a bit slower than I was used to it last week. It was still really good. I heard that the train that goes around the entire park is actually up and running today. It hasn't been up all season. So that's exciting. And also uh, Boomerang is back up. I saw them testing it. So I'm going to try and get on, I think, every coaster this weekend. So I'll be coming here tomorrow too. I'm going to go down to the boss, see if that ride is up and running. If it is, I'll do a lap on it. Otherwise, I'm uh, probably going to go ride Justice League or Mr. Freeze because Justice League, I am trying to shoot for 1370 by the end of this weekend. I'm at 1339 right now. So we got a ways to go still, which is uh, over 30. But if I can get 21 in a single day without even having nine hours to do it, I don't see why 31 in two days should be an issue. So let's go down to boss, see if that one's open. Otherwise, I'm going to go to Justice League and Freeze, which I have not heard Freeze test. I'll uh, head back over there if boss isn't open. This is the in five, four, they're only loading one train on Boss right now. They're running Purple Train out in the course right now. Yellow can't be loaded until the line's out on the bridge. So it'll probably be a while before we get two trains running, but uh, it's all that we're testing Rookie Racers, so I'll be definitely keeping an eye on that. And there's a sign out in front of it that I'll go back over and take a look at once I get off of this ride here. Good ride there on boss and uh, i will say it definitely wasn't as wild as my uh rides last week especially that last ride i had where it was a uh, trimless going into my ride on boss just now it was tied between that and scream and eagle for uh most of my time in country believe actually i've done freeze more than both of them but i had a uh, 53 on eagle and 53 on boss going into just now in a uh, rookie racer we got some uh progress which i'll be doing a separate construction update for that and uh what can we have here I don't know. I am hearing rumors that uh, Joker, Carnival of Chaos, or whatever the heck that Frisbee ride is, that Imperial Giant Discovery, or Giga Discovery, I should say. I heard rumors that it might be going right here, which if so, that's awesome. So yeah, I'll have to take a closer look at that as well, while also uh, updating you guys on the racer status, which uh, looks like we have some uh, decent progress made here with the queue line. And uh, you guys might have already seen that construction update video I posted before this video came out. So this is uh, looking pretty good, and uh, I saw them testing rookie races. So we're definitely looking at some testing today. But uh, as with that side, I saw in front of it. Let's go take a look at it. Two weeks ago from today, which is when I'm recording this, uh, I was a backstage rookie racer. I was literally underneath the ride as part of the Coaster Enthusiast event, Daredevil Days, which uh, if you haven't seen the vlog I shot from that event this year, I'll post a link to that in the description of this video so you guys can go take a look at it. Yeah, it was awesome to go uh, underneath rookie racer, like literally. That's pretty cool. We got Boss going off the mid course right now, which, uh, yeah, that's about how it trimmed for me just a second ago. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely come back up to this one later because I do want some Nat Reds on it because I think the only Nat Red I got last time I was here was Mr. Freeze. And that was at the end of the night because I was Marathon and Justice League. So I'm definitely getting some Nat Reds on this and maybe also Scream and Eagle tonight if possible. Here's that sign I was talking about. It says, Rookie Racer, training in progress. Race time's coming your way in a few days. What this tells me is that we might be hearing about an opening date for this coaster. As of when this is recorded, we have not heard any information about an official opening date yet, but it's very possible that uh, after this this video is uploaded. We'll have an uh, opening day on for at least before the hand, I should say. Yeah, not sure what we have going on here, which uh, this was not like this last week. I don't know what this could all be for. It's tough to say. This is interesting what we're looking at here. This is definitely another thing to keep an eye on. And uh, one more note about Daredevil Days. My friends Lily and Will, who you might have seen in that vlog, I don't believe they're gonna be here today, but Ellis should be joining me. That would be uh, cool to maybe meet up with Ellis and whatnot. And, uh, Unfortunately, Ryan is still not going to be here, which I don't think I've told you guys this or not, but uh, unfortunately, Ryan, I think he fractured his foot, so that's why he's not able to be here, unfortunately. We had some awesome memories of this season. We got uh, Quad Max on Justice League. We did uh, The Boys of Silver Dollar City, and he was part of it. And uh, we did uh, The Boys of Holiday World earlier this month. So that's exciting. Might be by myself for a lot of the day, but uh, Ellis will probably be joining me. So if I run into him, I'll definitely hang out with him for a bit. I'm going to try and get on every coaster in the park today. I could ride Pandemonium right now, which I don't want to do it later because I don't want to bother with it right now because Justice League is a priority for me. And I want to get up to 1355 by the end of today. So 1355, so I gotta get 16. That's totally doable. I'm gonna do that while also getting on every coaster in the park today. Except for because I think it's an open yet. But we got Mr. Freeze going. I'm excited to see how that one runs because uh, last week that thing was running absurd. It got uh, nine rides on it. Well, the coaster for the most of that day, besides that, was Boss and Eagle with three each. I'll do that after I do a couple laps on Justice League. That a good opener. 800, 84,800 with a back flasher and I was in the back row. Yeah, I can't do much better than that for a startup ride, in my opinion. That's one of the better ones I think I've ever had, so I can tell I'm gonna kill it today. 
Got another excellent ride on Justice League. I got a 728,000 with the back middle blaster after maxing out the front left. I feel like I could have double maxed it, honestly, if uh, the person directly behind me was using uh, the blue blaster because there were two people in the back row. They decided to use back left, which that kind of threw me off a little bit because I had to angle the blaster a certain way in order for it to work and it didn't work as well as I thought it would. I'm surprised I did that well, so that was good. And uh, now I'm going to get on to coaster number three for today, and that is Mr. Freeze. <laughs> out of nine completed. I would say that was, uh, I think, a little better than Screaming Eagle, but uh, definitely not better than Boss for today. I think Boss is definitely hand for being the uh, best coaster here so far. I mean, granted, I haven't even ridden half the coasters in the park yet. I'm uh, six away from doing all of them today. So I'll go to my next one, which I think will be American Thunder after I do a couple more rounds of Justice League. So let's go do that and uh, see how well we do, because my first two rides earlier were incredible. So I don't see why I should do any worse. That most recent ride is a good example of why you don't get overly confident in yourself. I had uh, well over 800,000 coming out of the first screen with the first blaster, so I'm like, okay, I should easily double max this. I, I'm on track to do it. And then it completely screwed up in the second screen, and I completely just threw it right there. I'm so mad at that. I deserve redemption. That was uh, red and yellow of car six. At some point, I think tonight, I will try and get a double max in that car to make up for it. I think I know where I might have screwed up. I think I used the red flasher first, but I think I should have done yellow first, because usually when I max out car six, I don't max it, I use the yellow first. I completely forgot. So that's uh, pretty much on me there. But yeah, next time I get car six and I'm able to dual wheel the red and yellow, I'm going to try yellow first. The first screen froze and my blaster wasn't working, so I got it fourth screen, which is a little later than usual. Usually I can get it like no later than like mid third screen, but because uh, the first screen froze, I wasn't able to get it till uh, fourth screen. Maybe next time I'll have an earlier max. Now I'm going to ride American Thunder because I haven't done that yet today, and that's uh, going to be coaster number four. Let's take a fit on this GCI and see how it runs because uh, I think it's been a while since I've uh, been this one. It's been a couple weeks, I think. So uh, I'm going to hop on this one and see how it runs there, which I know we got red train. Do we have blue train running? I haven't seen blue run. Then again, I haven't paid that much attention. So yeah, it looks like it's running pretty good though. So let's uh, take a run on this, see how it is today. was actually scary how good that injector was. I got uh, pretty much a two click ride. So held the lap bar up, front row, blue train, two clicks. That will give you some good air time. Like, oh my God, that was flying out of my seat. Like the second part of the double down right here, I was flying way out of my seat the whole time and I was shocked. Then again, it's definitely not Prowler. It wasn't fun, which uh, speaking of it, I'll be riding that in a couple weeks. American Thunder, better than Eagle for sure. I would say better than Freeze. Boss, eh, I haven't decided between that one and Boss yet. That was a phenomenal ride right there.
expect to ride Mr. Freeze again so soon, but they got two trains running now. Which way do you think I'm gonna be going? Is it that obvious? Of course I'm going to the left. This is the much shorter line all the time. Look at this. You know there. Pretty obvious that uh, I'm taking side A because you'll be on that one. Look at the long one over there. I'll be on one on this one, although uh, front will along on this one. <laughs> I've already made this joke before, but pandemonium is pandemidium. Didn't spin that much. We had it going at first, but then uh, we hit the bottom of the drop off the second last block zone and it just lost all spinning from there. So it was disappointing the rest of the ride. Pretty much a one and done. Don't need to ride that again today. So I think I'm gonna go to go ride Boss and then get on River King Mine Train because I think because of the Kid Boo Fest event, I think that ride closes early. I want to get on that before uh, that thing closes. If it does close, which I haven't ridden it in, uh, I don't know, it's been about a month, a little over a month since I last rode it. So I'd like to get on that in case uh, it doesn't stay open all day.
pretty good lateral throughout the whole ride, which uh, that's what I pretty much come to expect from the front, yeah. which uh, it's still fun, but the back is definitely better. But did a uh, back last one, so I figured I'll try and find uh, Eagle. They're cycling red train entry right now, but I saw them testing blue train. So looks like they're going up to two train outs, which if so, that's great. But uh, I think we'll go up and take another ride on it at the boomerang, which they finally got that back up and running as well. Because uh, I saw they were testing it, but uh, there was no one on it. I want to go up to Eagle after I do boomerang, and then I'll go down to Boss. And then I'll have uh, two left with uh, Batman and Ninja. And then I'll have, uh, I guess, complete the coaster gauntlet for today. Ah! <laughs> 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 Everyone has to stay on the road. Please stay all the way behind the line. Watch your legs, watch your knees, watch your bottles. When there's things hanging over. intense boomerang is because it's been uh over three months i think since i last rode this because it was down uh, about a month and a half to almost two months now so that was just really really good i will say that uh i do miss the soundtrack that jolly ranger remix that hershey park had that soundtrack is what makes that ride my favorite traditional Rakoa boomerang that was there on this so i don't know i missed that now that i think about it that boomerang was really intense like i was great now especially going back to the vertical loop and cover roll and everything back in the station it makes me wonder this is actually a top three most intense ride in the park now after how good that was. Holy cow, that was nuts. I was talking about earlier with how the queue line for Rookie Racer looks uh, almost complete. As you can see, there's a split pathway off to the right, which I think that might be for where the exit is now. I'm interested to know is if uh, the entrance and exit path will remain the same for everybody, because uh, it looks like that might be the case unless they put some sort of divider down the center to uh, separate those coming in and those coming out of the ride. But uh, that's something to keep an eye on in the future here with this ride. was ridiculous just a few minutes ago. Mr. Freeze has been running really good as of late, but for today, Boss kills Freeze. Didn't trim that hard on the mid-course, and uh, remarkably smooth, really fast pacing. It was overall a blast. I'm gonna go over and match up just with, like a few more times, then go get on Batman and Ninja as the last coaster I need to do still, but I have not done that yet, because I've done all the other seven in the coaster gauntlet, except for Batman and Ninja. So I'm gonna go get on those two after a while here. I just did something funny on my most recent ride on Justice League. I had over 800,000 on the first screen, which that's pretty typical for me nowadays. I felt really confident in matching its second screen. So I did it with my eyes closed, that second screen, and I got it like halfway through. So that was hilarious. Not sure I would go for that again, but I don't remember that because I was really confident. That would have been hilarious if I missed Max against second screen because of that. But at least I got it like that, which, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Three rides on Justice League to bring my total ride count on it for the year up to 320. Now I'm going to go complete the coaster gauntlet. So I just need Batman and Ninja. Since I'm uh, heading this direction, I might as well get on Ninja first and then Batman. Don't want to win the last time I run this was. It's uh, been a couple months, if I had to guess, but let's uh, see how it runs today.
operating stage. It's not 10 inch, I'm not sure why, but it's safety Some extra haunt attraction right here. I think it was a uh, McBoogle's Family Hayride, and uh, this is actually uh, not an upcharge, so I could have uh, ridden that, which uh, I was getting some Batman shots from over the time. It was coming to ride Ninja, and I saw this. I'm like, wait, what is this? So I head down that way, and then boom, Batman was like right there. It's amazing. So yeah, as you can expect, I was getting some shots of it, and now I think I'm gonna ride Ninja and then go over and finish off the coaster dollar with Batman. coaster I need to complete the coaster gauntlet and that is Ninja. That was actually really good. It was uh, pretty smooth. Sidewinder was a little uncomfortable but it wasn't any worse than what it usually is I would say. And uh, I don't know it was really fun this time. The last coaster I need to complete the coaster gauntlet is Batman. So let's get on this one and then uh, we'll have the coaster gauntlet completed for today. Once Rookie Racer opens we can add that as well. But Batman's the last one we need for today. So let's go get on this one. Batman. The Zero Jewel was freaking awesome. The whole ride was a blast. I have no complaints with that.
on Mr. Freeze, Boss, and Screaming Eagle, and all of them were phenomenal, especially Boss. Boss and I is otherworldly, especially in the front row. Eagle was running really good as well, and then Freeze was also solid. So overall, those are really good night rides that uh, I feel like are underrated, because uh, hardly anyone seems to get night rides at the park, but they're really good at night, all three of these. Gotta head out a little bit early, but that's all right, because I'll be running today back tomorrow, and Justice League is down right now, by the way. So final ride count for today was uh, 10 on Justice League, three on Boss, Mr. Freeze, and Screaming Eagle, and the one on every other coaster here. Highlights, uh, every coaster I got with the Central Pan and Money was running really good today. 10 maxes on Justice League and uh, no double maxes unfortunately, but that's right. The net race I got on Boss, Freeze, and Eagle were awesome. And uh, it was overall really solid day here. I'll be running back tomorrow and those will be seeing that at 7 o'clock. Before I finish off this video, please share it with my So, be sure to comment and enjoy the video. Be sure to share it with someone else. If you can hear the channel like ways off, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when I visit parts. Be sure to check them out there as well. Thank you guys for watching.